race for 2022 is already on, and a native of Atlanta and former Trump White House advisor just joined the race to unseat Senator Raphael Warnock in Georgia. As a former Navy SEAL, Latham Sadler knows the value of service, and now he wants to bring that experience to Washington. Our country is being undermined from within by a broken political system lacking authentic leadership. That is not the American way. We deserve better. And Latham Sadler joins us now. Good morning to you, Latham. Good morning, Good Ansley. Morning. Honored to be on the show, and I hope you had a wonderful Mother's Day. I did. Thank you. I hope your wife did, too, to those precious young boys that you have. Uh, congratulations on all your success. I know you were student body president at Georgia. That's not easy to get elected to. And then you went on to serve our country, and you taught yourself Farsi. You also went on to serve in the administration under President Trump, developing special operations for the, uh, for the National Security Council. Thank you for everything you've done for our country. Why do you want to run for Senate now? Thank you so much, Ansley. Um, I'm, I'm running for Senate because I'm madly in love with this country. Um, and it's, it's how I was raised. It's why I decided to join the military. And I'm watching what's going on in this country. And I, I, I'm not happy with what I'm seeing. I think most of us that love this country feel the same way. And I think the answer is next generation conservative leadership to step up and serve in Washington. I, I feel a very similar conviction that I felt after 9-11 that led me to join the military. And quite frankly with this, I, I hope that my campaign uh, busts open the gate for other next generation leaders to help our country because it's needed right now. What do you plan on doing for the state of Georgia in Washington that's not being done now? Yeah, well, I mean, what I'm seeing right now, Ansley, is, is, is the antithesis of conservative Georgia values in Washington. I mean, conservative policies work, low taxes, low regulation, strong national defense, a strong border and protected border, and, you know, also the dignity of the American worker. I mean, one of the things I'm seeing every single day when I talk to business owners is that they can't find workers that are, that, that are, nobody's applying for jobs. And one of the messages of our campaigns is going to be dignity, not dependency. As, as, as conservatives, we believe in providing economic opportunity, which gives that dignity, rather than government handouts that give dependency. And, and I'll tell you, the, the viewers of your show that are up at this hour right now, I know they're not waking up to pick up a, a free paycheck. They're waking up to, to work hard today as, as red-blooded Americans to attack the day. And God bless them. And, and I want to fight for them. And I hope I have the opportunity to, to do that as a United States Senator. And, and the, the other thing I'll say is I'm the only person in this race that served in the Trump White House advancing the America First policy agenda. And we all saw that that policy agenda works for the country, mm -hmm. and we're seeing the opposite right now. And so uh, the argument I'm making, Ansley, is I'm the next generation conservative leader that can and will beat Raphael Warnock. Okay, I know that you oppose the $1.9 trillion stimulus and you back the new election reform laws in the state of Georgia. Latham Sadler, we wish you all the best. Thanks for coming on. Ansley, thank you so You're much. Welcome. And to your viewers, please join the mission at LathamSadler.com. Hope you all have okay. a wonderful morning. Thank you. More Fox and Friends just moments away.